hello everyone and welcome to a new Panama Cards video. In this video I want to talk about grading. We've all seen uh, the, the new price change with PSA recently, they doubled their prices and in this video I want to talk to you about why to me there's still the way to go uh, and why no other company is doing what they're doing and the particularity that not much people talk about or I haven't heard anyone talking about it that makes PSA way better than the others. Uh, we have some new companies that just came in. Uh, the HGA slabs are beautiful. You can add some colors uh, close to the color, the jersey color or the parallel uh, color. That's really interesting what they've done. Uh, you have the CSG slab that is really nice. Uh, looks a bit gamey and stuff uh, and really solid. Looks really solid, really nice. Uh, you have the SGC that everyone knows that is black. They're the only ones doing that. That's a big uh, main advantage they have. Uh, personally, I don't like the black, but I can understand a lot of people do. Then you have the classic BGS with its subgrades uh, and everything and PSA. We're going to talk about all those, uh, the, all those guys. Now, first, here's an example. Like we have here a BGS card. What do you see first? What I see first on this card is the 9 and the 10, the grade. I personally buy slab cards for the card, not for the grade. There was another argument that I had for me personally because I live uh, far away from the US and I pay uh, some shipping fees depending on the weight. So this slab is double the weight of a PSA slab. So, so that's my first argument on why I wouldn't use uh, BGS because if I have to, to bring uh, 200 slabs to Panama it will be uh, double uh, my price on the shipping and uh, I try to, to make economies on that. BGS has subgrades which is nice. Only uh, HGA, the brand new company, put subgrades in there too and CSG as well. PSA doesn't have it. Oh yeah, I'm not, yeah SGC doesn't have it. Well, I'm not into subgrades. It's not something that I'm interested in. Maybe the subgrades could go in the back of the slab for, because for me they're not important. One thing that I consider important is the neutrality of the slab. And that's what only PSA has. Why? If you look at an HGA slab, for example, you will see first the name of the player and the grade. That's the main focus thereon. It's really hard to, to find the, the, the card set, the parallel. They're on the same line, way smaller. That I don't like. I like to have everything at the same level, the neutrality. And that's what PSA does. PSA has the same size for the font, for the typography, uh, for the, 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 the set, the name of the player, the grade, everything is on the same level. And that's what I really like with PSA. Also, the typography they chose is a super neutral and basic typography. If you look at the typography of an SGC case, I don't like it. It's what the typography on the SGC case to me is what makes it look, look so cheap. Even though the black is beautiful, the typography kills it. That's my opinion. Now with the CSG slabs that just came out, I have that same problem. The size uh, is focused on the grade and the name of the player. And also the font is a bit too gamey, too, too Pokemon for me. That's something I, have, uh, I don't like about CSG. The, the HGA, as I said, it's hard to find the, na the name of the card, the set, the parallel. All that is smaller and that takes, uh, that takes a lot of uh, focus off what card it is. And I think that's important and it should stay at the same level. Same thing with BGS. BGS has the name of the player, the name of the card smaller and that's the grade that is the most important for BGS, something that I don't like. So for me, it will always be PSA. There's no other company that does that. That neutrality on the label is to me the most important thing, the, well, the reason why I will only collect PSA. Uh, maybe I can flip uh, some other cards. I know some people, I'm not, uh, some people prefer SGC. 
that's not my taste, but we all have different tastes. But in a global way, I think when you grade a card, uh, you want it to be neutral and to have a focus on the card. And that's what PSA does. I'm not working for PSA. I'm not receiving any money from them uh, to, to, to say that, uh, that's for sure. But that's my point of view. To me, there's no label in the slabs that beats the PSA label and they're far away from beating them. If a new company comes and does something neutral with all the same, and maybe I could uh, have an interest. But as long as no one does that, I will stick to PSA 100%. You can see I have here one BGS lab. I might uh, buy just one or two HGA because I think they're nice, uh, but just for fun. Uh, I will not be, be flipping or investing uh, in, in those slabs. Uh, PSA is to me the way to go and, and they know it. That's why they doubled up their price and maybe they will double again in a few months. We don't know about that. But uh, to me, PSA is still the number one. So tell me your opinion. Might be an interesting debate to have. Some people will prefer the SGC. Some people will prefer the BGS for, because it's stronger. Um, I'm sticking to PSA 100%. So tell me in the comments. Uh, let's open the debate. Uh, if you like this content and you hadn't maybe realized about the typography, please like and subscribe uh, to my channel. I'm growing. And uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure talking to you guys. I'll see you next time. Uh, thanks for watching and thanks for stopping by. Bye.